Hi, this is Cindy with Craft Your Dreams, and I'm just going to do a quick DIY today. And I'm going to be making this soap container, or I guess it could be anything. It's a little pump container. I'm going to use it for, for hand soap and um, dish soap. So I'm going to put one in my bathroom, in one of my bathrooms, and one in the kitchen because I like to pump my dish soap out, and I buy it in large containers. And so... I thought this would be cute. So I'm going to use a pint-sized jar, mason jar. I, I need a, you need a lid and a ring. And this little pump come from one of these at the Dollar Tree. For a dollar, this little plastic thing. I'll have to find some other use for that. But I'm going to use the little pump out of it. So all I'm going to do is... Take the lid off of the ring. Now I have to make a hole big enough that this whole part right here will fit in it. So I'm going to attempt to do that. And all I'm going to use a drill. You could probably use um, a hammer and a nail and get a big enough hole there. But I'm not going to play the noise over this so I'll be right back when I have the hole. Okay I've drilled a hole and you might want to um, flatten that out with a hammer but all I'm going to do is place this inside there where it sits on top of it. I'm going to actually attach mine down with the E6000. You wouldn't have to attach that down it could just sit on there if you wanted it to if you didn't have glue it would work the same. Um, but you're going to need to measure this need the bottom of this needs cut off just a tiny little bit because it, it it's almost the exact size but not quite so I'm going to cut off maybe an eighth of an inch I want it to reach the bottom but I don't want it like raised up off the bottom. So I want this to be flat. I don't want it to actually touch the bottom. I need to cut it off a little bit more. And that works perfect. So it sits down there without being raised up off the bottom. And I'm going to apply some E6000 just right around the rim. It'll take uh, 24 hours, most likely, for that to sit and um, cure. You want to make sure your your lid looks like it's in the middle, like the pump thing. Yeah, I have black spray paint all over my hands. I couldn't get it off. You just want to place that. You can even glue that down if you like. So when you, un and I think that's what I'm going to do. So when you undo it, you wouldn't, it'll be on all one piece and not in separate pieces coming off. But you, you don't have to. You don't have to use any glue for this at all. If you don't wish to. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. And what you're probably going to need to do is sit, sit something down on it so it actually stays attached. Or pour, put more glue than I did. Maybe I'll do that. Put a little more glue. And don't forget to put your 
Vaseline in your lid and your lids won't adhere themselves to the tube. Okay, so there it is. I put little pearls because you know I like pearls. I've said that before, but you can just put like a little embellishment of some sort on there. For this one, I think I'll just tie a bow with a little jute twine. can make your bow look a little bit better than I have mine looking. I think I have a cute little pearl button that I think I'm going to place right on the center. Well, if I can keep one in my hand, that is. And I needed my hot glue on. Don't have my hot glue on, so let's try this. So there. It is a little pump jar. Quick and easy. So that's the DIY of the day. You guys have a great day and craft your dreams or someone else's. Be inspired by anybody. Bye.